Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of January 2022 for the sign of Virgo. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Virgo, then this video is for you, okay? So happy new year. I'm really excited to speak to you again. Uh, you know, if you look at this in December, happy holidays, okay? Um, there's a lot of changes happening in the month of December and also January, okay? We're still having Venus retrograde um, until the 28th of January, okay? So for you, this is happening in your fifth house. First and foremost, I would suggest you to not do any big changes when it comes to your looks, okay? Okay? When it comes to maybe haircuts, do nothing crazy. Uh, I would tell you not to do like really major plastic surgery or like changes to your looks because Venus also rules your looks and all that stuff, okay? And with Venus retrograde in your fifth house and the whole bunch over there in Capricorn, there's a big chance that someone from your past is coming back. This could be someone from, you know, you were in a relationship before, because this could be an ex coming back, someone from a past life, okay? So you meet someone that feels very familiar to you and has a familiar touch. Uh, it could also be someone from that you worked with before, okay? Because fifth house is creative expression and self-expression, romance, love, children, so some of you are conceiving uh, a beautiful baby right now. Okay, if that's not on the planning, be careful because we have a new moon in Capricorn on the 2nd of January, uh, right? <laughs> so there is a big chance that this is activated for you. Uh, yeah, and the 10th house is ruled by Capricorn. So also maybe some creative expression that you were thinking about monetizing or making into a business you will actually actualize that right now okay so you will come back to that and maybe uh it could be some art it could be writing anything that is your personal creative expression okay and then we also have jupiter in your seventh house so virgo there is a major focus on romance for you right there is a focus on um you know who is it that you want to be with if you're already in a relationship you're going to be romantic you're going to uh enjoy your time together uh with jupiter there there's a lot of expansion maybe you're ready to get married to take things to the next level right and with the planets in the fifth house even though it's a bit contradictory because Capricorn is not really like, hey, <laughs> let's be super romantic and enjoy, right? That's more Pisces, I would say. So there is a balance between commitment and seriousness, uh, commitment to your business, but also being in your relationship. And maybe it is romantic for you to, uh, to work together or to, you know, talk business because not everybody is the same. And Virgos do like their business, right? And I can confirm, I'm, <laughs> I'm also a Virgo. So I know that we love to talk about uh, business and uh, express ourselves and be creative and think about a lot of ideas because uh, m most likely and very often Virgos can make a, a hobby into a job, right? Because um, it's very difficult for a Virgo to see a hobby separate from a job. So very often the hobby is the job or the job is the hobby. <laughs> okay. And um, also a major event that will happen on the 17th of January is the full moon in uh, Cancer. And also Jupiter is stationing Jupiter. Uranus is stationing direct. Okay. So this will happen in your ninth house and uh, Uranus is literally uh, in contact with Mercury, which is in your sixth house. Okay. So there might be a shift in your routines, your work um, with Mercury retrograde, which happens on the 13th of January. 
I wouldn't recommend to sign any major contracts. If you are doing that, please read them very carefully. Also, I wouldn't recommend you to buy any mobile phones, laptops, anything related to electronics, okay? In the second part of January. <laughs> Uh, and the moon, the full moon, will happen in your 11th house. And it's opposing uh, your bunch in the 5th house, okay? So it could be that you need to talk with your friends about your ideas, your creative expression. Maybe you're announcing your pregnancy. Uh, you could be announcing that you're dating someone, but you're not sure. You don't know what to do. Um, but definitely there is something coming to the light, okay? Because we have the moon opposing uh, Pluto and the sun, right? And uh, when we think about the sun, we're talking about a father figure. So this could also be a father figure or someone who is like your father or mother. There is some power struggles going on, right? Or a partnership where you're like, eh, they look quite like my parents. <laughs> I need to keep the power to myself. So there's a lot of power dynamics going on in January, okay? So if you meet someone new, don't overly give everything and like give yourself away because this will go against, you know, you will give it all away and you wouldn't have time for all your creative expression. At the same time, when uh, Uranus is going direct, you will have a lot more ideas. Um, a lot of you want to learn astrology uh, because Uranus in the ninth house is higher knowledge. And, you know, Uranus has to do with astrology, science. You want to study something new. Maybe you want to do a workshop. Uh, yeah, do like an online workshop or anything like that that will expand your thoughts. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Someone from far away might contact you. There's definitely some sudden situations, but you know, you will be forced to look into your own creativity and the balancing of the masculine and feminine side as well, right? But yeah, those two. Capricorn is the masculine, Cancer is the feminine, right? Full moon in uh cancer so it's opposing the sun and the planets in capricorn um so this is going to be major and also there will be some kind of communication when it comes to work right maybe something you've discussed before before you're discussing again i don't know what's with my speech today like in some of the videos i'm like well it's not even mercury retrograde i don't know okay the star People see you shine, Virgo, and they want to know what's what's out there. That's why people are contacting you again in January. It's like you're doing really well and you're kind of you're kind of leaving all the troubles behind, right? You're like I'm so done. I'm so done with this stuff. I'm just going to follow my my own dreams. So people are coming back to check up uh, uh yeah, to check up on you. Yeah. So when it comes to work, it might be that things are a little bit stagnant. It's going to be a little bit like, hey, uh, where's my stuff? And then we have the tower because here is you like kind of like, okay, yeah, I'm doing a lot of hard work, but where are the rewards, right? And then we see the tower. So I just want to tell you that you shouldn't give up right or walk away because here i see some people walking away from a situation um but i feel that right now it's time to have patience okay like this is not really the time to focus on your career that much it's more like turning a hobby into a career right but it's not really a time to walk like suddenly walk away from a job i would wait for that maybe no not maybe February is a much better time because then you have Aquarius, right? We're having Aquarius season already end of January, but we're still having Mercury retrograde. But you know, this is time to think and understand what it is that you truly want to do, right? Um, King of Cups and Two of Cups. And then we have Ten of Cups. Wow, a lot of cups. 
okay so you're opening up your emotions your feminine side and maybe you're gonna talk with someone from the past or it could be a new person but i'm i'm very convinced that you are going to talk with someone from the past and you're gonna either reconcile or you're gonna move on but actually this is a really great possibility okay if you're single if you're in a relationship you're gonna have a lot of um open and deep conversations because you know with virgo there's a lot of layers that you think you know them but you don't so it's like you you tell people what you feel but then don't give away everything it's a little bit like scorpio you know and cancer as well can be protective like virgo will rationalize their own feelings so it's more their thoughts that are overthink what is going on but you need to get into your feelings and then make a plan and that's for everything right now what's gonna what's going on in your life so yeah plans feelings um you know just shift the north node and the south node shifted into taurus so definitely i i see you do some kind of study maybe like studying mm, like focusing on the big picture what is important to you virgo oh my god this is crazy this is crazy we're getting like oh okay that's too many cards that's too many cards okay one more card for a virgo oh, on the floor okay okay so i'm getting balance right so this is the temperance in in the tarot so you're balancing out whatever it is that needs balance right now so you have been doing a lot of work for some of you working really hard and you know with saturn in a sixth house i'm not going to tell you oh that's going to be over um but it's not going to be the main focus you're also going to enjoy and you're also going to understand why it's so hard and so difficult to leave your work behind sometimes like you can't stop positive changes on the way traveling or relocating so some of you are relocating traveling good times are coming okay virgo so this is the time to balance and to follow what you want with your life what are your dreams right and make some kind of plan maybe like do some journaling yeah trust that there's a reason for everything that happens remove yourself from the negative emotions of others focusing on what and which frightens or worries you so i see that the worries come especially from friends and other people who are trying to uh make you change your mind about your plans but this is about owning your power that you know what's best for you right so some are going to support you and some are going to work against you and you've learned to distinguish what's good and what's not good right same with uh relationships who's good for you romantically and who's not if you're already in a relationship you're just going to go through this major transformation but also in this deck we get the star so it's your time to shine you look very charming but I see a lot of light. So you're going from um, a place of maybe darkness or a place of not knowing to the star. There will be some revelation to you. And then we got do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars. Going back to school. So again, we're talking about um, studying excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects so you're working on long-term projects when it comes to creativity you're gonna plan a lot of things yeah okay so you're taking back your power okay you're taking back your power and actually you're gonna get some rewards for all the hard work you've done and this is only because you decide to do what's best for you. And this is your big change. You're not allowing others to change your mind. Because sometimes you ask for advice and people don't agree with you. And you start doubting yourself. But right now, that's not the case anymore, okay? You know what you have to do. And you're like, you don't need to um, go off track. 
or because other people don't agree. So if someone gives you advice, you feel in your emotions what is right for you, right? Because you do have a great support team. You just need to distinguish who's good and who's not, right? Some of you want to date, but you know, it could be. Yeah, you could definitely, if you're going out and, and start dating as a single Virgo, that could be a good thing, but at the same time, you could attract really intense type of people. So yeah, this is my message for you, Virgo. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also leave a comment below how this resonates with you and what you're going through. Uh, and as well, I'm thinking to, to give away, well, I'm not thinking, I'm doing, because we are so close to 3,000 subscribers. I wanna give two half an hour readings away. So um, for the people that wanna participate, subscribe to my channel if you already have, doesn't matter. Uh, leave a comment below and uh, say win January and share your message so I know you're participating and you have a chance to win this half an hour reading. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.